to my show at JNM 1000 Talk Show right down here in London. And he said, Good evening from London. At JNM 1000. And it's a happy, happy Sunday, everybody. I open up the music with, of course, our wonderful Elijah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, lady, oh yeah, lady. Oh. Ah, happy, happy Sunday, everybody. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Happy, happy, happy Sunday. Thank you so much for joining in. Welcoming to this show today is and acknowledging the wonderful YouTube music which I'm just enjoying here. Francis Grace Backel, Francis and Tom Tukumbo, welcome. Let me go live with you today. Enjoying my Sunday, and it's a good morning, good afternoon from wherever you're watching. Ah, what am I eating? This is just my pizza. Today I'm spoiled. And if you see the pizza I'm eating, look at this big pizza. <laughs> I am spoiled for choice. So. You're spoiled for choice. But I have to eat with you. Welcome to my lunch. What are we talking about today? Today's topic is all about pain. Pain and what it means to you. Hmm. Even my African wonder woman knows how some people have got pain. But it's how you use your pain. Susan Mosellin, all the way from Kenya. Let's see this pizza. Thank you so much. Elijah always cheers my soul. Down. God's bell time. Happy, happy Sunday. To all faiths, to everybody who is joining me. Eh, hey, I'm getting pushed. Everybody is saying, I've always been pushed. I don't get pushed. I've always been pushed. So mind your words and mind your language. Maybe you didn't know before. And I welcome a wonderful coach, a wonderful manager as well. I really welcome you. Thank you so much um, to one wonderful um, manager. He knows himself. Hey! I'm in a good spirit. You can even see this Wonder Woman. My chief guest today is happy. It is really flying. I send those energies to you. Thank you so much for this gift. Somebody just treat me and say, this is what you need. Ah! I said, really? Hey! My goodness me. Enjoy my pizza with you. I wish you were all here. It's quite big actually. It's super, super, super duper. Uh -huh. So I'm eating it. Mm. Where's my cup? Don't worry. Now I'm in coffee. Today I want to eat a little bit healthier. I only drink, by the way, if anybody tells you any different, I only like cranberry juice. I like cranberry oh, classic. That was I like to drink. Ah, forget about this. What are they telling me now? Hold on, we are behind now. We don't want to be here in their adverts. Let me get um, uh, something and send me your songs today anyway. And um, I love, um, today is all about Elijah Oliyelade. 
He lifts up my spirit. And I'm going to go for Thank You by Elijah at Graceful. Hey, huh. How was Bob Webb? How is your week? And how is your day? I'm talking about pain and what pain means to you. Mm -hmm. So what is pain? And how do you use pain to transform the world? Mm -hmm. Happy, happy Sunday, everybody. Unakula nini? I'm eating pizza. Thank you. I'm eating my pizza. My pizza is my lunch. Somebody said, I was Bobo. Come we share. I have a very big pizza. I'll send a picture later. Mm -hmm. Worship with me as well. Mm -hmm. Pain. And what does pain mean to you? You know, so many people have had so much pain in their hearts. And sometimes those pain in your heart make you not do certain things. Because you're... You, you're really, really in pain. But what I, one thing I've learned is pain is also something that we should share to the world. And um, I want your stories for pain as well. You see, I'm, I'm not used to doing all the technical myself, but because of this COVID-19, I have learned quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm becoming like the, you know, the expert of the, the, the fingers that they go like this and go like that and go like this. <laughs> I'm always good. You see, with me, one thing with me, before I ask anybody to do thing, anything, I always make sure I know how to do it myself. Let me bring everybody in. I'm going to bring all of you in. May I celebrate um, our coach, beautiful coach. I was just waiting for people to be in and uh, bring you in all of you at the same time. And so I'm going to start welcoming you to Achieve in 1000 Talk Show. Achieve in 1000 Talk Show. <laughs> Let me just pour this drink. Hold on. Let me just pour it. I'll just pour it. Where am I? Don't worry where I am. You can see where I am. I'm chilling. I'm enjoying myself. It's the studio as well. Please come to my studio. I invite all of you. You know, I invite all of you. <laughs> right. From Kenya, we welcome you. From Nigeria, we welcome you. I can see, and of course, United Kingdom. Thank you so much. And today I'm a little bit early. Yesterday people asked me to come in early. So on behalf of the people who asked me to come early today, here you are. Today's topic is about pain. And what is pain to you? Let me welcome every single person who's just joined us. We've got Francis Grace Patel. Lovely to see you. Tom Tukumbo, lovely to see you. Susan Motelin, all the way in Kenya. Amos Bowa, and of course, wonderful coach, wonderful manager, Audi Cummings, many, many fans. And of course, he's also a pastor. We love you. Tell us what is pain. Pastor will help us with that. Duncan Buchanan, lovely to always see you. Thank you for blessing me every, um, every time I come on the show. Charles Adegbayega. And of course, Paris Purple, wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for all of you. Gareth Lewis Shelton, many, many thanks. And thank you so much for joining in. Liberal, the peace of the Lord be with you. Juliet, that is what Sister Torella is telling me. And Darrell, our model, many, many thanks. So what is pain to you? So, you know, uh, I'm eating my pieces, so... Excuse me, because I wanted to eat this pizza while I was uh, talking to you. Um, and allow me to eat while I talk. In some countries, it is bad manners, but here today, I feel like 
I want to enjoy this Easter with you. I wish you were all here. It's quite huge, so I felt that um, I needed to be eating it before it gets cold. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting there. You can see I'm trying to, I don't know if I can turn the phone, but um, I've got both of my hands now and I'm trying to, oh, why I'm doing it. I wouldn't say I'm trying because I'm doing it. <laughs> you know, sometimes people will always tell you and say, try. Try and um, do is two different things. Always remember that. When you're doing something, you're doing it. Don't allow people to tell you you're trying. No. I don't want those kind of comments. Those kind of comments you're trying is uh, belittling people. No, you're doing it. Learn to say I'm doing it. Uh huh. So we come back to um, a wonderful, uh, I'm not going to play all of them, but I'm just um, lifting us um, up uh, with Elijah or Elade. And uh, I'm going to go for God of Wonders. Um, and as we talk about pain, contains a as we talk about pain, um, sometimes they bring you all the answers um, in this quick three minute uh, video. Yeah, yeah, advert. So, um, yes, God of Wonders. Um, and welcoming all faith groups as well, as usual. As you know, this week is all about celebrating gospel music um, from my side, and uh, I mix all these things um, every time. <laughs> And I allow my energy to flow as usual. Thank you so much. Um, let me look. I'm still in Nottingham. Thank you so much. You're welcome to Nottingham. And um, everybody else, um, that is what um, you're saying. I am uh, liking that one. And uh, I'm getting... You know what I'm like. Pastor, help us. Start us off. Help me to know. What is pain? What is pain in your life? And how can you come out of that pain that you're suffering from? You know, um, I would love to start off by... Um, appreciating many many things again yesterday we were talking about greatness so today i take it all the way to pain you are i'm trying i've got this uh, lighting thing now you know hey can you see light hey it is controlling Eh? Hmm. Eh? Hmm. Ha! 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 Miracle worker. You never fail. Whatever pain you've got. Please, if you've got any pain, please. Let us walk your journey with you. And I know people always reach out to me, but this is the platform now I've created. I don't know. Hey, there's somebody who asked me a question a few years back and said, how do you find forgiveness? And if there is a creator, why does the creator create cancer? Create uh, all kind of diseases, create all kind of havoc. What kind of um, creator is this? And I had to ask him, do you think our creator creates all these things? So sometimes, thinking about it a little bit more, because um, these diseases sometimes we are suffering. We have created them ourselves as mankind. Pain. I'm talking about pain today. Hey. <laughs> yes, we saw you at the flag. Mm. And 
If you've not clocked in into my YouTube channel, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, my YouTube, my YouTube channel is Juliet Mahapila. If you subscribe, I usually get a notification in my email, so you cannot tell me that, oh, I have um, liked your YouTube and you have subscribed. If you subscribe, I get to know. It comes straight into my email. So, for those who have not subscribed, eh? <laughs> please, <laughs> just a great reminder there, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Juliet Mahapila, and you will see there. And uh, thank you so much to everybody who subscribed to my YouTube channel yesterday. I did get the notification. Many, many times I'll not mention names, but I did see it this morning when I woke up. <laughs> Anyway, we are talking about pain. <laughs> Is it painful? <laughs> Don't worry. Ajayem wants us to talk show. And yes, I am the African Wonder Woman, and I'm an African queen. For those people who don't know. No way. Some people are asking me if I do uh, interviews. Yes, I do. I do a lot of good interviews for people. You can come down here. And uh, once COVID-19 is finished, yes, we do. <laughs> Let me welcome a good person, a good friend, Ricky Short Moon. Good afternoon. How are you keeping, my lovely? I'm keeping blessed as usual. You can see. Join me on my visa, and it was. I saw your. I saw your birthday, and thank you. You remembered I came to your birthday as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky. <laughs> anyway, I'm sending my greetings to your community as well. He does some good work as well, and he's a DJ. For those people who don't know, he's a DJ. Ha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to keep an eye on this one. You see, this is when you now need help. This is when you need help now. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished, finished. And um, when you need help, let me choose. Please give me your songs as well. Princess, welcome. Give me your songs as well. Um, I'm going to go for peace. Yes, we do need peace at this moment. Whatever is happening in our world here today, we need peace here today. As I hear, come on, and they give all this, uh, what do they call, talking about. You can see what I'm giving. They always give you all this, their advert, especially when they come in in between. Um, I'll go for, um, Oh dear, I lost that one now. Don't worry, I'll find it. Oh my dear. You can see why I always say I need everybody to help me here. <laughs> Where is this one, please? Um, let me go for... Um, I love to choose. I love to choose. Because um, we're talking about pain. I've changed my mind. We're going to go for highly lifted up. Because we're talking about pain today, so you're highly lifted up. Now. Dedicating to that for anyone who is having any pain, I'm dedicating that song. It's one of my favorite songs. Whenever I feel low, I play that, and it's absolutely a beautiful song. You are highly lifted up, Jesus, Jesus. Uh -huh. Thank you. Just a relaxing day. Somebody is asking me what I'm doing. It's just happy Sunday. Happy Sunday for me. I was asked to come a little bit early today. So I decided to come at this time. Whenever I get my flow, today is at um, it's this one, 6 o'clock here in London time. And in different places, um, different times. Thank you so much to Kenya. I'm just checking. 
Let me welcome Justin John and Samson Mwangi. Mwangi, thank you so much, uh, Samson Mwangi. And say hello to Caroline Rojo. Let us enjoy life. But today I'm dedicating my time to people who have got any sort of pain. Whatever your pain, let us discuss what is the pain. Mountain mover. You are the alpha. Some people want me to play reggae. Later, later. But right now, Sunday, let us first of all do what I had loved. People are asking me why I'm happy. I'm always happy. I'm always happy. You see, when you have the right people around you, they bless you. They bless you. Even when you have pain, those people come and support you. That is why I'm doing this program about pain. You see, pain is brought. Let me even check. First of all, I'm going to be focused here. If you can see, I'm moving here. I've got so many books over here. Let me see. I'll, I'll pick up a book here. And the emotional baggage. This one is by A Woman's Guide to Living the Abundance Life by Gladys Famorio. Let me see if she talks anything about about um, about um, okay. She, she has something about um, the emotional baggage that female high has to carry. So that's more or less like, um, and also typical coping behavior, the female hybrid of today's uses to survive. So that would be interesting. I haven't read it yet, but I've got it here. Gladys Pamorio. I appreciate your book. So I will go in and see if she's um, talking anything about pain. So let me see. Five principles. Focus, focus on your purpose, not your agenda. No, that's tough. Did you hear that? That is, focus on your purpose, not your agenda. I love that. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm looking for something with pain. Oh, this is it. So, we're going to go for page 83, which is saying, looking for restoration in the wrong places. Hmm. Looking for restoration in the wrong places. So, it seems like pain. Hmm? Does that relate to anybody? Does that relate to anybody? Looking for restoration in the wrong places. So when you have pain and you're trying to tell this pain to somebody who doesn't relate to you or who doesn't want to know what is your problem. So, please, learn to know who you're telling your pain to. Hmm? Because some people, it's not worth telling them your pain. Otherwise, the pain even grow bigger. Hear me out. When you tell some people about your pain, the pain might even become double, double, double. I don't want you to have double pain. I want you to lessen that pain. That is why I'm talking about pain today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He sings beautifully. I'm going to rewind it a little bit because I love that song. I'm dedicating that song again to anybody who's got pain. Welcome, Peter Kibet, all the way from um, Kenya, and Mira Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining us. My redeemer, 
Ya, sí, por favor, mucho. Ya, sí. Oh, yes, somebody asked me to bring my feet. Which one I wanted to get? I was thinking maybe I should have this one, then I thought, no, this one I'll wear tomorrow. Yes, I like, uh, I like my necklaces. Yes. Page 83. Yes, we're coming back to page 83. Somebody told me to keep reading page 83. So I'm going to read page 83. Okay. But um, it says, okay, so it's the chapter 7. More real. I don't know if you can see that. Jesus, Jesus, at the mention of that name, at the mention of that name, say, you know, if you're a Christian, you know about the issues of um, praising your most high God and your most high uh, spirit. So, at the mention of the, the name of your creator, everything is scattered. <laughs> you know? Tell you what. So if you've got any pain, sometimes even before you take that pain to somebody, learn to speak about it with your creator. So I'm bringing that to your attention. And trust me, it gets lighter. Always have hope that the, that problem that you are having or that pain that you are having is not the end of the world. Hey, look at this moment. I'm now trying to put the yeah. There is an only thing in your name. People say that they haven't had me singing. I know. I just decided to get them to. You know, most of you come to my programs and most of the time I give you a chance to speak. I never go out there and um, really talk about our programs. But our programs are. Um, really really well thought through mm -hmm. and we love you to do to be the best we want you to be the best of the best to use your gift in this world we want you to be the person that you were created to be that is part of our program and if you'd like to have master coaches or master mind classes with african wonder woman your one and only african wonder woman at jnm 1000 talk shows as well. Here I am, Killian Bakapila. Just give me advice. Plus 44-77-423-8405 four, four, seven, seven, four, That is my number. Always there. If you've got any pain, please, please, please. I'm also, uh, I've also done um, counseling um, skills. As you can see here, there is a uh, good um, space. <laughs> let me, I've been eating, so let me I am going to pass this book now. Uh -huh. The emotional baggage. Yes, the emotional baggage of what the pain causes. Hmm. Yes, let me come back here. Right. We lift your name. Right. That's what I'm looking for. You know, when you eat it and you don't know how you're looking like, you have to look for your lipstick a little bit. So that I add it a little bit. Hold on. Let me just apply this lipstick. This lipstick, because I was eating my pizza, <laughs> and I make sure that I don't have any any food. You know what I'm saying? Just give me ten seconds. <laughs> okay. You can see what I'm doing. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm here. I'm here. And then I was uh, I was eating my pizza, and then I come to that. And there you go. So now the music has decided to finish. You can see what I go through preparing all this time. And I tell you, you need technical help. 
Welcome, Monica Kase, welcome. Duche, CK, Cole, lovely to see you. And Joyin, Ola, lovely to see you. Thank you so much for the one, uh, the program you do with Yanga as well. And um, of course, wonderful counselor, counselor Rabbi Ramat Martin. Wonderful to see you in my program here. I welcome you to JNM 1000 Talk Show. Every single one of you. If I've missed anyone, sometimes they go like this. They go quick, 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 quick. But you know what? You always love everybody. What have you been doing up in COVID-19? What is your pain in COVID-19? Tell us as well. I tell you what, it is always um, important to check on our loved ones and check on their pain as well. And as I, um, as I um, think about um, what is happening in um, our world today, what is the pain? You can see what is happening in our world today. What is your pain? Yeah? So pain. I want you to learn how to use your pain and tell people 
And one thing with pain, be honest. A lot of people are not honest with their pain. It takes years to build that. It takes resilience to build that. It takes a lot of courage to tell people what pain you were going through. It takes a lot of, um, how do I explain? I don't even know how to explain. But it takes some time. But start off with your close ones, the people who love you. Start telling them. If they love you, they'll do something about it. If they don't love them, you, let them go. You know, sometimes people tell me, oh, Julia, you're too much. No, I'm not too much. I'm just being honest with you. Because I love to live my life in an honest manner. I'm a straight talker. You <laughs> counselor, counselor, you know I'm a straight talker. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> I can you I better not start. <laughs> I'll cancel that one. I'll cancel it completely. Anyway, so I'm trying to talk about pain now. There's somebody who talks about pain in a very beautiful way. I want you to Google him or to check him on YouTube. His name is uh, Joel Austin. And when you read about, um, when you see what he talks about, I'm going to put the volume down a bit for this one, so you can hear what I'm saying for this one. Um, let us, um, let, 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 let me tell you about um, uh, what jo, uh, Joel, uh, or Pastor Joel Austin, he's uh, an American pastor, and what he speaks about, and he says it's important for us to learn to share our pain. It's, I, I found him this many, many years ago, and I tend to share these kind of stories to people. I share all kinds. Even uh, yesterday, um, Councillor Martin, I shared about uh, Sahur yesterday. So if you check my program yesterday, you know, I love to listen to all kinds of coaching. I love to listen to all kinds of motivation. I love to listen to all kinds of growth in my life because I believe that when you listen to this thing, you will always learn something, one or two things. And today is all about pain. So what is pain to you? Some people are busy commenting. I'm going to see who has brought me something on pain here. Mm -hmm. Ah, Peter Kibet, Asante Sana. Mm-hmm. Mm. Pain, my goodness me. Somebody says to me, pain is healing. Interesting. Another one says to me, pain always occurs in our life. Uh, pain, they relate to death as pain. Mm -hmm. Ebako, Ekalia, wonderful to see you. Um, wonderful to see you. Uh, and um, Ikalia, if I'm not mistaken, is a computer science. He does wonderful things um, in our community. Uh, and I'm always um, blessed to see you as well. And I'm always blessed to see every single person and all my fans, they know themselves. Thank you. If you'd like to um, connect with me, um, always connect with me. I'm free here. Reach out to me. If you see I haven't responded, know that I am still to catch up with that mistake. Sometimes I wake up to 30,000 messages a day or 20,000 messages a day. So sometimes it's like it's full. It's like a book. And I try and uh, my hand, sometimes you can see. My hand, my wrist here. You can see. It needs a bit of a uh, hand to be moved. Anyway. So um, I'm very passionate about um, talking about these issues in holistically, but I love doing it in a very open way, as you can see. And um, when you're talking about pain, there is pain for yourself, there is pain for other people, there is pain that is affecting the world as well. So it's important to reflect and digest what kind of pain you're talking about. So you bow, and for me, how do I, somebody's asking me a question actually, asking me how do I come out of pain myself? Interesting question. How do I come out of pain? It pains really. Um, some days are better than others. Some days are beautiful. 
But uh, one thing is um, I allow my mind to flow. That is me anyway. I just, I just know that things will be okay. So I have that somewhere in my head that regardless of what it is, at some stage it has to be better. It is not the end of the world. So that is how I keep myself to or protect myself from uh, from these kind of uh, heartaches and pains and uh, I don't know what it is. But I'm not saying that um, I'm not human. No, I am actually very, very like, oh my goodness me, should these things be happening to me? Sometimes I'm thinking to myself, um, no, this, you know, everybody is human. So there's some days that you will have, um, you feel like you're really low. But what I try and do, as I told you about, um, um, I think the three days ago, I was talking about responsibility. So I said, um, it's taking responsibility of your mind. I was trying to explain that one. So um, we're going to bring in a... Uh, thank you for that one. Somebody's just asked for it. We played it yesterday. So I'm going to bring it... Um, and it's great to see that it's David G who has signed it. I was trying to remember who has signed that um, song. And um, yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try this one with you now as I speak about pain. And let me, before we come back to that, DJ Tuck. <laughs> so I've got two DJs here today. I've got Rick Topman and I've got DJ Stack camera watching as well. Thank you. I'm always following all of you as well, as you know. And as well, I love what you guys bring us up to as well, as well, you know. I just love to promote every of my community members as well as you all know. Mm. So, some people say they want love music. And I just love to chill. It goes up and down. Mm. That's David J. That is David J. Yeah. I got my karaoke box here. I got my karaoke box here. I got 
wonder if you can see how big it is. I can't even lift it. Look! Oh! 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 oh, oh. It's not heavy! Rick! I will be needing help with this! Rick! You can see how heavy it is! Oh! Boom! Right! Go back! Hey! I don't know which one is part one or part two, but both of them, I always get my motivational book. I'm asking you to get your motivational book. Right, before we continue to, we're still thinking about um, uh, pain. Ah, this is what we call pain. Ha! Page 112. A true friend is the greatest of all blessings. Did you hear that? A true, ble- a true friend is the greatest of all blessings. Aha, that's interesting. A true friend is the greatest of all blessings by Franco La Rochefa Ocal. Hold a true friend with both, ha- both your hands is a Nigerian proverb. Oh, my Nigerian brother, I love you. <laughs> and you can see what we're talking about, pain. So you can see what I say to you. I just open it randomly like this. That's me. Hmm. Aha. Uh-huh. Now that's finished now. So. Okay. People have really been asking me um, to play um, reggae. But I'm still in the mood of playing gospel. So I'll still play my gospel because I'm in the mood of playing gospel. This week is about gospel. Next week is about reggae. So tomorrow we can wait. Yeah, well, that is. I appreciate Steve Crow. You are Yahweh. <laughs> now, Omega. Wishing to be friends is quick work, but friendship is a slow ripening fruit. Aristotle. You are your yeah. mm-hmm. This one keeps appearing. Even yesterday I read this one. None knows the weight of another burden by Thomas Fuller. So probably I'm meant to read it again. And I tend to read anything that I open. That is page 82. It appeared a few days ago. So it means that somebody needs to hear this. And I do trust this, my little books. You see? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Somebody is asking, what am I doing today? Vicky Lepi Jackson, she does a lot of good work in Malawi. Greetings to you as well. And um, thank you for coming in here today. I do appreciate your joining me all. Ta-da! Somebody wants me to eat another pizza. Hey, no, no, no. I've eaten two already. I'm mixing Fanta and uh, Classic. Right. I need to get better at this. See? I'm usually videoed by other people. So when I'm doing it myself, I also find it really entertaining myself. <laughs> <laughs> when I've succeeded, I love it as well. <laughs> you know, I always just do it in the car. And today I just thought, no, I'm not doing it in the car. I'm here right down with you, all of you. Somebody's asking me for some music. I'm going to practice a little bit. I'm trying to find some books for you. Don't worry. 
put five on those. I'm trying to let him and let him go. No, it's not that one. Uh, find the small one. I'll be waiting. Oh well. I think I have to. Which one is this one? Sam. Which one is uh, a diary? I will have to come. I will have to bring some more books in this place here. Today I don't know where the books are. People just keep picking up my books. They just pick, 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 pick. So when I'm looking for the book, I can't find it. That's why I don't give away my books. Please, don't borrow my books. I don't like people borrowing my books. Please, if you like a book, just go and buy it. Because when I'm looking for it, to read it for people, I can't find it. Now look, I'm looking for the book, I can't find it. Anyway, not to worry. Um, so what you'll do is I'm going to look for the... Something I'm gonna look for Joel Weinstein, and we're gonna listen to because I I was saying that uh, it's important for us to 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 learn about pain, and I do like what he says. I do like what he says. Uh, I mentioned him earlier on. I did mention him earlier on, and because I love sharing, I'm gonna listen this one. I'm gonna I've listened to it myself before. But I think he's better at it to explain this issue of pain. So I'm going to put the volume up a little bit. And we're going to listen together. Because um, I want to appreciate his church and his gospel. And he says, don't waste your pain. And I'm going to put the volume up there. So just for, just for today. So thanks for joining me. So we're going to listen together. It's quite enjoyable when we listen to it together. Always a joy to come into your home. Mm -hmm. And the topic is, is we don't waste your pain. One of our services. I promise you, we'll make you feel right at home. I hope you can and all hear it. Tuning in today. And thanks, thanks for tuning in to my channel as I well. At JNM 1000. I heard about these four Catholic ladies. But I love Joe and Austin, and that's why I'm sharing his message to you as well. When he walks in the People room, were telling me to talk about him. pain, and I thought about Joe and Austin. He talked about pain in a very good way. Room, I want to welcome a wonderful, great friend as well. When he walks in the room, and I want to welcome um Fourth lady said, my son is six foot three, has broad shoulders, is incredibly good looking. Jeff, I welcome you. Well. When he walks in the room, all the ladies say, oh my God. Right, I'll keep quiet. Oh, well, at please least like get yourself a cup of tea. I am what it says I am. I am what it says I am. I am what it says. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be taught greatness. My mind is alert. My mind is a lot. My mind is receptive. In Jesus' name. Uh -huh. That is how I start my day sometimes. Don't waste your pain. Did you hear that? Through disappointments, setbacks, and all. Pain is a part of life. I'm keeping quiet. It's easy to get discouraged, even bitter. Think, why is this happening to me? But one of the best principles I've learned is don't put a question mark where God has put a period. All of us have things we don't understand. One reason is we can't see the big picture for our lives. Do you have a puzzle? On the front of the box, there's the picture. You see what it's supposed to look like. Maybe it's a sunset overlooking the ocean. As a whole, it's fantastic, so beautiful. But if you were to take one piece and isolate it, you would think, look at this funny looking piece. It's a mistake. It's not gonna fit anywhere. It's an odd shape. There's nothing beautiful about it. But the fact is, that piece has a perfect place. It's already been fitted, planned, designed. When the other pieces come together, it will fit in. The reason you can't see it now is because they all are not in place You're yet. You're talking about pain, so I'm way. sharing what Sometimes pain is all we about. we look at pieces in our lives that don't make sense. Joel, I went through a divorce. I lost a loved one. I'm going through cancer. My business went down. This piece couldn't be a part of God's plan. But you have to trust that even in the painful times, the times you're hurting, you're lonely, you're taking the treatment. On the surface, that piece doesn't make sense. But God doesn't make any mistakes. 
you. He's already designed your life, you laid know? out all the pieces down to the smallest details. God never said that we would understand everything that happens along the way. He didn't promise that we'd never have any heartache, pain, disappointment, loss, setbacks. But he did promise that it would all work out for our good. <laughs> Doesn't look like it makes any sense. When everything comes together, it will fit perfectly into place. The key is what we do in our times of pain. Did you hear pain that? will change us. Heartache, loss, disappointments, they don't leave us the same. When I lost my father, I didn't come out like I was before. I was changed. If you go through a divorce, a legal battle, a friend betrays you, eventually that will pass. You'll get through it, but you will be different. Now, how the pain changes you is up to you. You can come out bitter or you can come out better. You can come out with a chip on your shoulder blaming God or you can come out stronger with a greater confidence in God. You can come out defeated, giving up on your dreams, or you can come out with a new passion, a new fire, excited about the new opportunities in front of you. All of us experience pain. My challenge, don't just go through it, grow through it. Don't go. That difficulty is an opportunity to get stronger, to develop character, to gain new confidence. Anybody can give up. Anybody can let it overwhelm you. But you know what that's doing? Wasting your pain. That pain is not there to stop you. It's there to prepare you, to increase you, to develop you. The scripture talks about how God is in control, not just of our lives, but he's in control of our enemies. Satan had to ask God for permission to test Job. The enemy may turn on the fire, but the good news is, God has his hand on the thermostat. God controls how much heat, how much pain, how much adversity. He knows what we can handle. If it was going to harm us rather than help us, God would have turned back the intensity. In those tough times, when you're uncomfortable, going through a loss, dealing with an illness, you could easily let it overwhelm you. It's helpful to remind yourself, I may be in this fire, but I know who controls the temperature, the God who breathed life into me, the God who is for me and not against me, the God who crowned me with favor, the God who takes pleasure in prospering me, he's in complete control. He's not going to let it get too hot. He's not going to let it defeat me. I may not like it, but I'm not a whiner. I'm a warrior. I know I can handle this. You have that attitude, you'll come out stronger, increased, promoted, better than you were before. We've all heard the saying, no pain, no gain. If everything was always easy, we wouldn't be prepared for our destiny. Some of the things I face today, if I would have faced them 10 years ago, they would have overwhelmed me. I couldn't handle it back then. God knows what you need when you need it. Every struggle is making you stronger. Every difficulty is growing you up. Every painful time, even though you don't like it, it's developing something in you that can only be developed in the tough times. Don't complain about the pain. Without the pain, we couldn't reach the fullness of our destinies. Researchers did an experiment with bumblebees. They took them up into space to study the effects of weightlessness on them. The bees floated through the air with great ease, didn't have to use their wings. I'm sure they thought this is the way we were made to live. No struggle, no adversity, no resistance. For a few days, everything was great. But on the fourth day, something happened. They all died. They loved it being easy, no adversity. But the problem was they weren't created to not have any resistance. In the same way, we were not created to float through life on flowery beds of ease. We're going to the sweet by and by, but we are living in the nasty now and now. We love to not have any pain, loss, disappointments, heartaches, and trails. That's not reality. No, it's not Difficulties are a part of life. Have the right perspective. In those tough times, God is getting you prepared. If it was too much, he would have turned back the temperature. He's got his hand on the thermostat. 
Now quit telling yourself you can't take it. You're not weak. You are well able. You are armed with strength for this battle. You are full of can-do power. The reason the fire is so hot is because God has something amazing in your future. He's getting you prepared for the next level of your destiny. See, God doesn't just randomly say, let me give them some pain to make their life miserable. Let me hit her with the sickness. Let me hit him with some marriage problems. There is a purpose for the pain. We may not always understand it, Joel, why did I get sick? Why did I lose my loved one? Why did my marriage not make it? I can't answer that. But I can tell you, if God allowed it, he knows how to bring good out of it. This is what faith is all about. God, I don't like the pain, but I trust you. I believe you're in control. Now, I'm not going to just go through it. I'm going to grow through it. I'm going to keep a good attitude. I'm going to count it all joy, knowing that this pain is leading to my gain. Sometimes we bring pain on ourselves. We make poor choices, get in a relationship we know is not good, maybe get over our head in our spending. Now it's painful. We're having to deal with the consequences. And God is full of mercy. He'll always give us the grace to get out of it. But the way to not waste your pain is you have to learn the lesson. Be big enough to look back and say, okay, here's where I missed it. I ignored the warnings. I got involved in something that I shouldn't have. I got out of God's time and got in a hurry. Not going to do that anymore. There's a lesson in the pain. Don't be hard-headed and have to keep going through the same pain again and again. A man I know has struggled with diabetes most of his life. He ended up a month in the hospital. I saw him recently. He looks better than ever. He said, Joel, that stay in the hospital was a wake-up call for me. I've lost 40 pounds. I've changed my diet. I exercise every day. I feel like a new man. What was he doing? Not wasting the pain. He learned the lesson. We talk a lot about letting go of the past, letting go of the mistakes, the failures, the divorce. And yes, that's true. But another way to say it is remember the lesson. Remember what you learned in the experience and then let go of the negative event. But if you go through a painful time, and you don't come out with what you were supposed to learn, you're doing yourself a disservice. I talked to a man a while back, and he was about to get married for his fifth time. And I, I didn't know it. I'm, I'm not judging him. I don't know his story. But he made a statement, Joel, pray for me. All of my wives end up running around on me. I didn't say it, but I thought to myself, the one common denominator in this thing is you. There is a lesson in that pain somewhere that he's missing. Don't keep repeating the same mistakes again and again. It's like this guy I heard. He was driving his car and had an accident. Got out so upset. Went over to the other driver. Said, lady, you need to learn how to drive. You're the fourth person that's run into me today. <laughs> Here's my question. Are you bringing pain on yourself? Are you bringing Are pain you on yourself? Are you struggling in a relationship not fulfilled because you keep saying everything you feel like saying? Here's a news flash. The pain will stop if you zip it up. Don't just go through it. Go through it. Other times, we experience pain that have nothing to do with our choices. It wasn't our fault. We were doing the right thing, and the wrong thing happened. The scripture says, rain falls on the just and the unjust. You can be the just, honoring God, being your best, helping others, and it rains in your life. There are forces of darkness trying to keep you from your destiny. God could have stopped it, but he didn't. And even though it's painful now, if you'll stay in faith, that will lead you toward your destiny. At the age of 48, my mom was doing the right thing, raising five of us children, helping my dad pastor the church. Life was good. Then it started raining. She was diagnosed with terminal liver cancer, given a few weeks to live. And that was not only uncomfortable physically, obviously, but it was also painful emotionally. Thinking about possibly leaving her children, leaving her husband. But my mom didn't get depressed. She didn't get bitter and start blaming God. Her attitude was, God, my life is in your hands. I know you promised the number of my days you will fulfill. People don't have the final say. God, I know you have the final say. And it didn't happen overnight. But little by little, my mother got better and better.
Today, 34 years later, she's not only still healthy at home, and here's my point, in that difficult time, out of that pain, God burst something new on the inside. She started going around praying for other people who were sick. Till to this day, she goes up to the medical center every week and has a prayer service in the chapel. The very thing that was meant to destroy her, God used it to push her into a new level of her destiny. Friends, God knows how to take your mess and turn it into your message. Take what was meant for harm and use it to your advantage. There are times, like with my mom, God will allow us to go through a season of difficulty so he can birth something new on the inside. Paul said in Corinthians, the comfort we receive in our difficulties, now we can share that same comfort with other people in their time of need. When you go through something you don't understand, doesn't make sense, instead of getting negative, bitter, God, why did this happen? Have a new perspective. The reason God allowed it is because he can trust you. He knows he can count on you to take the same love, the same healing, the same encouragement, and share it with others. Even though that struggle with cancer was very difficult for my mother, she talks about how she wouldn't change it. She wouldn't have it any different. The pain was for a greater purpose. Maybe you've been through something you don't understand. Like my mom, a sickness, abuse, infertility. You're raising a difficult child. Life hasn't turned out the way you'd hoped. It's painful. It's easy to take on a victim mentality. Joel, if God was good, why did this happen to me? Why did these people mistreat me growing up? Why did I have this bad break? It's because God knows he can trust you. The forces of darkness tried to take you out, but God had his hand on the thermostat. He said, not so fast. That's my son. That's my daughter. I've got an assignment for them to fulfill. Just like God said to Satan, you can test Job, but you can't take his life. He's not going to quit serving me. I know what Job's made of. God is saying the same thing about you. It may be painful, but I know what they're made of. It may be difficult, may not be fair, but I'm not only going to bring them out. I'm going to bring them out better, and I'm going to use them to help other people who are struggling in the same area. God can trust you. There's a purpose for that pain. Do you know how many businesses, charities, ministries have been birthed out of pain? May of 1980, Cindy Leitner received a phone call saying that her 13-year-old daughter, Carrie, had been hit by a car walking to church. Unfortunately, Carrie lost her life that day. This mother was devastated. She didn't think she could go on until she learned the man driving the car was under the influence of alcohol and he was a repeat offender. When she heard that, something rose up in her like she had never felt. In her late daughter's bedroom, she started a new organization. No money, no influence, no experience. She called it MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Today, her organization has saved hundreds of thousands of lives, changed laws, influenced policy. Cindy Leitner understands this principle. She didn't waste her pain. No, it didn't bring her daughter back, but she knew there was a purpose for that pain. She could have sat around depressed, bitter, blaming God, but she didn't put a question mark where God put a period. That piece in her puzzle didn't make sense at the time. But she believed that when everything came together, it would fall perfectly into place. That's exactly what happened. Today, she's impacting the world. Most of us will never experience anything as tragic as Cindy did. But if she can take one of the greatest pains in life and turn it around to become a force for good, I believe you and I can find the purpose in our pain. Don't get caught up in where this piece to my puzzle fits. Your old doesn't make sense. This is another piece. Keep moving forward. Do like she did. Go out and encourage somebody else. Healing comes when you get your mind off of your own pain, what you lost, what didn't work out, and you go help others. But as long as you stay focused on yourself, you're going to get stuck. There's a blessing in that pain. You have something to give others. You can encourage people who are going through what you've been through. 
a lady I know got a bad medical report and doctors found what they thought was a cancerous tumor and we prayed right here that the report would come back negative but indeed they found out it was cancer she'd been coming to Lakewood for a long time she knew she's not a victim she's a victor she knew God wouldn't allow it unless he could bring good out of it like my mother she didn't get defeated her attitude was God I know I'm in the palm of your hand nothing can snatch me away God I don't understand it but I trust you for one year she took chemotherapy wasn't easy she lost all her hair got very sick but today she is 11 years cancer free you know what she does now she goes back to the same hospital Not long to go, as so a volunteer just hold on there. and she encourages the people that are fighting cancer she tells them I know what you're going through I've been there I've taken the chemo and look God did it for me he can do it for you she's not wasting her pain her test has become her testimony we've all been through things that are uncomfortable we didn't like it but God made a way when we didn't see a way if it wasn't for his healing his favor his goodness his mercy we would be here God's counting on us to let our light shine what you've been through can help somebody else get through it be on the lookout for somebody you can encourage don't waste your pain my friend coach Dell Brown at LSU told about a young lady named Lolo Jones you probably heard of her she's a star sprinter she holds the world record in the hurdles 2008 she was at the Olympic Games heavily favored to win the gold medal. Nobody had even come close to her time. She lined up on the track. The starter fired the gun. She took off running. Everything was going great. She was in first place like expected. Eight hurdles down, two to go, and she wins the gold. A dream comes true. But somehow on that ninth hurdle, her timing got off. She hit it, stumbled, fell to the ground. That allowed the other runners to pass her by she didn't win the goal. A huge disappointment. She trained her whole life for that 12-second race. Now it was over. They interviewed her a little afterwards. And she said, in effect, yes, it's painful. Yes, I'm disappointed. But I know now I can help other people who have fallen. When you've been through something, in one sense, you've been given a gift. You are uniquely qualified to help others struggling in that same situation. Don't sit around feeling sorry for yourself. Go out and lift somebody else up. Friends, everything happens to us for a reason. Nothing is a coincidence. Some things are to help us grow, mature, come up higher. Then there are times God will allow us to go through a difficult season so later on we can be instrumental in helping somebody else overcome. Can God trust you with the pain? Can God trust you to be uncomfortable? Will you get negative, bitter? God, why is this happening to me? I say this respectfully. It's not all about you. What if God allowed it so three years from now you could help somebody else move forward? Can God trust you? When my father went to be with the Lord, you've lost loved ones. Very painful. I didn't like it. I was uncomfortable. But do you know how many people tell me, Joel, when you talk about your father and how much you loved him, how you stepped up to pastor the church, that helped me to overcome when my loved one went to be with the Lord. With the comfort I've received, I can share that comfort with others. We all have something to give. We've all been through a hurt, a loss, a disappointment. Don't see it as, oh man, this is so bad. No, you may not have liked it, but there's a purpose for that pain. I saw a report on the news about this lady. She was a larger woman and She'd always been perfectly healthy, but she started feeling a little nauseated. Couldn't figure out what was wrong. Over the next few months, her back started hurting, her feet swelling, couldn't sleep at night. She went to the doctor early on. They thought it was some kind of virus that would soon pass. But month after month, different symptoms popped up. She was uncomfortable, swollen, gaining weight. She didn't like it. One day she started feeling incredible pains in her stomach area. She tried to endure it, thinking that it would pass, but kept getting worse and worse. And finally, she couldn't take it any longer. In excruciating pain, she had her husband rush her to the emergency room. The doctor examined her, said, I know exactly what's wrong. 
90 minutes later, he handed her her new baby boy. She was pregnant and didn't know it. All those symptoms she was feeling, the pain, discomfort, nausea, there was a purpose for it. A change was taking place. She was about to give birth. Many times, like her, we're pregnant and we don't know it. All we can feel is the pain. God, I'm uncomfortable. The pain is a sign that you're about to give birth. If you'll stay in faith, eventually the pain will pass. You'll give birth to new strength, new talent, new ministry, new charity, new friendship, a new level. The pain is for a purpose. A change is taking place. When you're in a difficult time, don't focus on the pain. Focus on the fact that a new level is coming. The scripture says, Jesus endured the pain of the cross, looking forward to the joy that was set before him. If you only focus on where you are on the pain, you'll get negative. Have a new perspective, the right perspective. God, I don't like this situation, but I know this pain is not here to stop me. It's here to promote me. It's a sign I'm about to give birth to something new. That's what my friends Craig and Samantha did. Craig at the time was the head of our children's ministry at Lakewood. They had two beautiful children. Samantha was expecting the third child. When little Connor was born, they soon realized something wasn't quite right. He wasn't talking, developing as fast as the other children. Connor was diagnosed with autism. And while they loved Connor just as much, of course, they were a little taken aback by it. It's not what they were expecting. But Craig and Samantha understand this principle. They didn't put a question mark where God put a period. They knew the reason they had Connor was because God could trust them. They didn't waste their pain. Craig told me how at that time we didn't have any classes for special needs children here at the church. Many parents couldn't attend a main service like this because their children needed constant attention. He said, Joel, why don't we start a special needs class for these children? We can call it the Champions Club. In that time of pain, Craig recognized he was pregnant. He was about to give birth to something new. We started our Champions Club the first few months, 300 new families joined the church. Other churches heard about it. Craig helped them launch their own special needs class. Today, there are over 30 Champions Clubs in seven different nations around the world. Here's what I'm saying. When it's painful, don't get discouraged. Get ready. You're about to give birth. That discomfort you're feeling, it's not just a random pain. Those are birth pains. There's a blessing in that pain. There's a gift in that pain. There's a ministry in the pain. There's a new level in that pain. Don't waste it. Do like Craig. Be on the lookout. Look for opportunities. You can encourage somebody else. Can God trust you with that pain? Will you get negative better? Or will you say, God, I don't understand it, but I know there's a purpose for this pain. Remember, God has his hand on the thermostat. If it was too much, he would have cut back the heat. Don't just go through it, grow through it. If you'll do this, I believe and declare, your pain is about to be turned into your gain. You're going to come out stronger, increased, promoted, new levels. Out of that pain, it's going to birth you into the fullness of your destiny. In Jesus' name. If you receive it today, can you say amen? <laughs> Thank you for staying with me. We Thank you for watching that. And I and really, really appreciate it. To make I thought today we should life. share. I've would never done like um, just this say, kind of, just, um, I've done it, but I've I'll never really shared it fully like this. So Come I'm glad to see you've all been patient. And, and, um, and I thought that um, I just um, spoke to myself that um, I will um, bring you this topic about because I felt that today's topic, um, I felt today, let me um, uh, let me talk about pain. But I thought, instead of me talking about it, I want to appreciate um, Lakewood service. I want to appreciate um, Joel, Pastor Joel from Lakewood in Houston. Many, many times and you've been listening and he did that clip on the 9th of February. 2016. He did that um, sermon on 9th of February.